Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone had a wonderful 4th of July. I did, um, as some of you may know, um, I know that we have a new subscriber on my channel. I welcome you with big arms. Um, to kind of give you a brief summary about my channel, I review new makeup products slash beauty products. It could be skincare products. Uh, also new beauty products. I do tutorials. Um, if you guys want certain beauty products reviewed, always leave it in the comments. And I always read every single comment and I always respond to every single comment. So I welcome the new subscriber. I don't want to like say anybody's name or anything. I don't even think it lists the subscriber's name. Um, so today we're doing a, there's a TV show called Bridgerton and it's a popular TV show. And we're doing a makeup tutorial on Penelope. Uh, her last name, let's see, because I have notes, like always. Um, it's Penelope, oh, what is her last name? I can't think of it right now. But we're going to do like a makeup inspired look. Um, it's in season three. Um, I hate when I can't think of something. Yes, I know I'm looking a mess. I just got lip filler done um, for my second round of lip filler done on Monday when I came back from vacation. So ignore it. It's just bruises. It's totally normal. Um, I'm on this like lip journey, like discovery. Like when I was young, I used to get teased in school. Um, they used to call me lizard lips and that always was like in the back of my head. And like when I do apply lip products, they don't always look the best on me because when I do apply lip liners, I can't always get like lined up really well and even under. So that was like something that I always wanted to do. And then I'm also on a weight loss journey. Um, and I've always been honest with everyone. I don't hide anything because I'm an open book, but I am taking uh, the weight loss medication, Ozempic. Um, I have been on it for a couple months. Uh, let's see, I weighed 272 pounds. I am down to 261 pounds as of yesterday. I weighed myself. Um, so I'm happy about that. Um, it's, I want to look good. Um, it's important to me because I think this, this paper's driving me crazy. Um, it's also healthy. Um, I don't want to have like high cholesterol or like, cause I was like, my sugar was high. So I was in that reach of becoming a diabetic. So it's important for me to look good, but also be healthy. Um, so yeah, um, I'm on both journeys. Um, so yeah, um, that is about it. I will take you along. Uh, I can't really bring you guys like video footage and some of these clinics like the first clinic I went to to get lip filler, I wasn't allowed to uh, like record videos because of the HIPAA law. And I plan on like maybe revisiting like a different uh, salon because it, it's a little bit cheaper on me. Lip filler is something that you have to invest in. It's not always the cheapest. Um, but uh, like they like they put this numbing solution on your lips and they let it sit for 10 minutes. And then like they say like a whole syringe is a size of a blueberry or a size of a Skittle. And imagine that liquid, that amount of filler being put in your top lip and bottom lip, which is not a whole lot. 
and that syringe is like got some kind of numbing agent in it so when you're getting injected with that lip filler you're also getting numbed so like the three four pokes that you get poked with you can definitely feel them but after that fourth poke you can't feel it after that because that numbing agent that was in that syringe had already taken place so um yeah um that's what's going on uh in my life um we had went on vacation me my husband my youngest son and my oldest son i also have a daughter she's the oldest um I took my father-in-law with me. He is, uh, he had a stroke back in 2017, as some of you may know. Some of you may not know. Uh, he can't walk, uh, he can't sit up on his own. So like, he's like 24 seven care. So like, it's not really a vacation, even though we went to a different house, a different area. Um, and then on top of it, this might be too much information, but uh, I'm just that type of person. But he had diarrhea during the journey, and that was not fun. And then on top of it, he started like, so when we first packed him up, he didn't have any water blisters. And then we got to our second, it's our vacation home. When we got to our vacation home, and I took his pants off. He had these water blisters. There was two of them. And I told my husband what was going on and we popped the water blisters. We put some Neosporin on it, wrapped it up. We were up there for approximately four days. We got home. He got more water blisters. They weren't healing. Um, he started to be in like lethargic where he was like asking the same questions over and over again. Um, and we just decided just to call the ambulance and get him admitted to the hospital. Um, then we found out that he had a very serious UTI. Um, they're saying that his, we have to slow down on his liquids because his body, because of him not able to get around like we can, we're able to like get rid of those fluids. And with him being in a bed, he's not able to do all that. So we have to like restrict his fluids, which he doesn't like that. And it's hard to tell him no, because he doesn't take no for an answer. And he doesn't understand that because the stroke kind of affected his mind. So it's like talking to a 10 year old and so yeah that is what's going on this is crazy in my life <laughs> wow so we're gonna do like an inspiration bridgerton look from penelope she is that uh red reddish uh orange curly hair she's got this glowy skin She's got these rosy peach cheek, round cheeks. Uh, she's absolutely gorgeous. When I looked up her makeup look, um, this is actually coming from her makeup artist. I jotted down um, everything that they use. I don't have every single product they use, but in the same category I have, so like if it had like a glowy foundation, I went through my stash and got a glowy foundation. So we're gonna still get the same makeup look just with different makeup products, if you guys get what I'm saying. So it's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna take a drink because my mouth is getting dry. Um, so we're gonna do some skin prep because that's what they did with Penelope. They said they use uh, the Huda Beauty eye patches, but I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Wishful Eye Lift and Contour. And I'm gonna apply this under my eyes. And it's got this serum consistency. 
I'm gonna pop that under my eyes just to give it some hydration. I'd like to know what you guys did for your guys' 4th of July. Um, on the positive note, we went to go see fireworks at Boeing City in Michigan. And it was the best fireworks show I have ever seen in my entire life. And we shouldn't have like left so early because we were there for eight hours. So next time we're just going to leave like two hours before the show starts because the show didn't start until like 1030 at night. So it was like my father-in-law can't sit in his wheelchair that long. So we're just going to leave like a little bit later. And then like I thought we were going to go to a bunch of stores and shop. And they only had like a couple stores to shop at. Which I couldn't understand that because it's like a real big tourism town and we're it's on a big lake so you're getting like the best of both worlds you're getting you're getting like a dollar general you're getting a grocery store a gas station grow um shopping stores like you know how you get your keychains and your shot glasses sweatshirts and stuff they had that kind of store then they had one of my favorite stores where I get crystals and like I burn sage and stuff. I'm not a witch or anything, but you know, I like my crystals and stuff. I'm into rocks. When I go to the beaches, I collect different rocks. So they had like a store like that, which was really nice. Um, then they had a couple restaurants that were really bougie. They had a couple ice cream shops. Um, they had like, I was able to eat like an elephant ear, which that is like one of my favorite desserts to eat, even at a carnival. So they had that there. That was like the greatest. So yeah, I had fun. Um, next, we're going to use a moisturizer. And I do believe they use a Charlotte Tilbury moisturizer, which I do did have but I gave to my daughter me and my daughter share everything God bless her she is such an awesome mother her three children are the best my grandchildren that is like the best thing in the world like having children is really nice but like when you become a grandmother, that is just a whole different level, a whole different feeling. It's just really great. So if you guys are wondering, I use the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This is like a water-based moisturizer and I love this moisturizer. It sinks into the skin really nice, gives you a really nice glow. It doesn't sit on top of the skin. It just really feels good. I have combination skin, so that's really nice. Dry skin can use this, oily skin can use this, so I would say all skin types. Um, and like for the holiday sale, which is around, I don't know if it's November or December, they, Sephora has a sale. And I think they might sell it at Ulta, but don't quote me on that. But you get, there's actually two different sets and they sometimes they brands they change things up but you usually get like a moisturizer like a full size moisturizer cream and then you'll get a new another one for like the price of one so you're getting two creams for the price of one and then they have a kit where you're getting a moisturizing cream with a cleanser an eye balm and something else i can't remember what else but i just usually get the um, cream now i need to find out where my palette is here it is so we are going to use a glowy primer because her skin was so glowy 
I'm going to use the, the Beeb, it might be Vibe, I'm sorry if I butcher your brand name, the Skin Nova Instant Radiance Primer. I haven't got a chance to use this, so this will be the perfect time to use this. I'm just pulling the seal off it. Get it off. There we go. So it's got this orangey base to it. Spreads out really nice. Kind of got like a moisturizing um, aspect to it. But this is really gonna like it's a primer, but yet it's gonna also like give you the the glowiness for the skin. I'm hoping this bruising on my lips don't last very well. I think last time it lasted around two weeks. But look how luminous my face looks. It just looks really healthy. I love it. And then just for some extra Zeus like glowy skin, we're going to use, and they use this in her makeup routine. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, I do believe this is in the fair shade. Comes with an applicator like this. Hair is getting in my way. Should have used a headband. I don't know if I have a headband around here. And I'm going to use my It Cosmetics. Let me grab a headband because my hair is just all over the place. Okay, so I just read my notes on the other side. Um, her last name is Penelope Feather, Feather, Featherington as her character. So I was able to grab my headband. If you guys know any skincare products that help with the under eye to give it hydration, because this drives me crazy. Do you know like how underneath the eyes they look baggy? And I just need some like extra hydration. And I have not been able to find anything that has helped with that. Even eye cream has not even helped with it. Um, for foundation, they use the same exact, no, they used, they used Pat McGrath foundation. This is the Lancome Tent Ideal Ultra Wear Care and Glow. So this is like a um, glowy foundation. I'm gonna put this on my foundation brush and then go in and pat it in. This is full coverage foundation but it's really glowy and beautiful on the skin. Bring it down past the neck. Look how healthy my skin looks. It looks absolutely beautiful. And that was one pump. I love this. This is like one of my top favorite foundations in my collection. Next, we're gonna go in with a the concealer. They used a luminous concealer. 
Um, we're going to use the uh, L'Oreal True Match Radiant Serum Concealer. It's got 1.5% hyaluronic acid and caffeine. I love the applicator on it. It kind of looks like a high heel. I'm going to put it there and there. There. Down my nose. Then we're going to use the same exact brush. And it fits right in. And you can even flip it and tap it in like that. And if you guys want a brush like this, in October, It Cosmetics releases this brush every October because of breast cancer awareness. And um, I don't know if a percentage or all the proceeds goes to the campaign, but it goes for a good cause anyways. And I usually buy like two of them because the brushes are just... The brushes are great. You're investing in a wonderful foundation brush. And it's adorable. Like, look at that. It's like suspended hearts. It's got the perfect amount of bristles. It's densely packed. Um, it's got this adorable heart shape. You're able to like blend it with foundation, concealer. You could use blush, bronzer. This is like an all multitask brush. You can use powder with it. And it works really nice. And none of these uh, brands are sponsoring me. These are my own opinions. Um, so next, let's see. I'm not going to set it yet because we got a cream product to use. Let me get a brush. So next, she had, uh, let's see. Let's do our brows first. Let's do that first. I decided to switch it up. So they did like a structure brow, which means she they didn't do anything fancy, just her brow, but better, basically. And I'm gonna use the Paladino, Paladio, the Brow Definer Micro Pencil. I love this, this is a really great brow pencil. It's got this super micro tip to it. It's got enough waxiness to like draw on those naturally brow strokes. And you can even fill in your brow. So like something like that. And then we're gonna go on the other side, do the same thing. I wish my brows looked the same, but they don't. This one looks so much better than the other one. And then we're just gonna comb that product through. And then 
lay them down. Okay, now we can go in with the blush. So she had these rosy brown cheeks and we're gonna apply the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. Um, it's in the shade Pink Pop. So it's like this pinky peach shade. And let's see how they did this because I don't want to make sure I get it right. So she, they focused this on the apples of the cheeks. Um, apply over the lid. Oh no, that's not. Okay, so over the apples of her cheeks. So that's where we're gonna put it. So I kind of have not the greatest. So I guess we're gonna smile. Hello, is anything in there? Did it dry out? No, nope, here it goes. We got pigment. All right. So we smile. So let's start with that amount because these things are pigmented. I'm gonna use the P. Louise and Michaela blush brush and bring it up. Thing. There we go. That's a really pretty color. And I think that's all we need. So we shut the bell off on these because it's got like an on and off switch on these. So next we're gonna um, see. Let's set that uh, blush. And I'm gonna use, this has got like a peachy pink shade. This is the NARS uh, Cosmetics, and I'm not allowed to say this. Um, it starts with an O, but it's a popular shade. And I'm gonna focus this on top of that cheek where we laid that liquid blush. Cause I don't wanna get in trouble from YouTube and have this video taken down over a word I said. Cause I put in a lot of work when it comes to videos like this. It is definitely not a walk in the park when creating YouTube videos. I have learned that and I give a lot of creators a lot of credit for doing so. All right. Now we're gonna apply some blush and we're gonna use the Givenchy setting powder. And I'm gonna put some in my cap we're just gonna set that concealer. So I'm gonna go right back over where I laid that concealer to make sure everything has not like creased or anything. Then I'm gonna use a powder puff, which is what I bought from Shen. Tap it on the back of my hand and press in underneath the eye. And then go back in with some more powder.
Okay. So we're done with that. All right, now, let's see. Let's use, for the rest of the powder, to powder our face. We're gonna go in with the Hourglass Ambient Palette, which I love this palette so much. This is loved on. And I'm gonna take, let's see. Make sure this is not a highlighter that I'm using. Because the shades can kind of look number one. Okay. So I'm going to go in on the top shade. And focus that on the top of my forehead. And then all over my face. It's giving you like this airbrush look to it. I didn't even see them apply any bronzer. So I'm not allowed to even apply bronzer. All right. Next, we are going to go in with eyeshadow. So let's prep our eyes. We're going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Here. And I'm just going to use my finger. For our eyeshadow look, we're going to use the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions. And if you got a palette that has these tones, then it'll work. Um, I just haven't used this palette very much, so I picked it up. Um, so they use a cool brown shadow in the outer crease and under the eyes and then a shimmer right shadow on the outer lid. So that is what we're gonna do. Cream shadow on the outer crease and under the lid. Cool matte brown. So I'm gonna tap in with this color right here. I'm definitely gonna have to use a mirror for this. And I'm gonna focus this on the outer crease. somewhere over here. Never mind, I'll just use my finger. So we're going to focus it on the outer eye of the outer lid and then put some in the inner crease so it looks like this and then we're just wiggling our brush in circular motions to blend it out so there's no harsh lines it's just a sweep of color so it looks like that then we're going to go on the other side same thing
tap back in because we want to make it darker. And then run it half, not halfway, but in the inner part of the eye in the crease. And then circular motions. And then back and forth and windshield wipers. So it looks like that. Okay, go back in, deepen this a little bit so I was matching what I put over there because I kind of went hard on the other side because I'm like left-handed and so I have more control with my left hand than I would my right. Now we're going to run that brown shade under our eyes. Then they take a, let's see, a shimmer white shadow on the lid. So that is what we're going to do. So I'm going to go in with the Issa May Beauty Palette. So it looks like this. Yep, this is Industrial Color Palette 2.0 Eyeshadow Palette from Isamea Beauty. She is a um, makeup artist and a brand owner. So these are all the stunning shades. They're beautiful shades. And we are going to use this color right here. And we're going to put that on the lid. Trying to figure out what would be the best way to apply this. We'll start with a brush and then I guess we'll go from there. See if I can use a finger.
I think applying the finger is best with this palette. And it is turning out so beautiful. Alright, I think that's good on the glitters. Even though we'd like to have fun with some more. I would anyways. So we're going to apply some liquid liner. And we're going to use the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Liquid Liner. And we're going to apply that on the lid We're just going to keep it on the lid. We're not going to draw a wing because I didn't see a wing um, on the makeup look at all. I'm going to do the other side. And while we're waiting for that to dry, because I don't want it to transfer, um, we are going to apply a highlighter because she did wear a highlighter, which I'm happy. So if I can't have bronzer, I got to at least have a highlighter. We're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Seeker Highlighter. And it's in this gorgeous, stunning packaging. Like, this is heavy. This is like really luxury packaging, like, like, look how really, like, this is gorgeous. Like, they thought about this packaging. It feels like this matte plastic, um, it looks like a macaroon with like a shiny inside. Um, the shade name and the brand is on the back. The logo is on the top and the front. You're getting a mirror. I, it's, it's got a sticker. I haven't pulled the sticker off. And it's got this dragon design. This was like the, the New Year. Um, they have like certain animals. Um, so there's like the dragon. So we're going to use a really pretty highlighter. This is the Morphe, uh, Morphe slash Ariel brush. And we're just gonna go in and hit the tops of our cheeks. brush actually might be too loose for this. There we go. Really pretty. I'm 
You guys can definitely see it on that side. Nose on the top. We don't want a whole lot of highlighter. She just had this like glowiness on the top of her cheeks. They did a inner corner highlight for her. So we're going to go in with like um, a tiny brush. This is the Lunar Beauty brush. It's really pretty. Just to give you that little punch in the inner corner. I'm very happy with that. And now we are going to curl our lashes, apply some mascara. Almost dropped that palette. That would have been horrifying. This one didn't apply very well. Let's go back on the other side. There we go. And then they ended up using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So we do have that. And that's what we're going to use. I'm going to wipe the excess off. Which I like to do with all my brushes. So we're not getting this goopy mess. Why do I keep shutting this? This was a sample that I received from Too Faced in an order. So I was like, this, this will work. Now we're going to go on the other side. For eyeliner, let's see. So for eyeliner, they did a black pencil, which we did on the top. And uh, we're gonna do on the bottom. So I'll put some eyeliner on the bottom. Okay, we, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Roll Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. Oof. My eye, my uh, eyes are starting to water. And I don't think it's the product. I think it's just me. Um, next, we're going to go in with the lip pencil. We're going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Hello Talk. So, I'll line on.
This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. And then we're going to go in with House Labs. Uh, this is the shade Macaroon. So it's got an applicator like this. Sorry guys, the way my lips look. Uh, I just kind of got to roll with it. All right, you guys, this is the makeup look. This is a Bridgerton makeup look from Penelope from season three. I think it looks gorgeous. The eye look is incredible. The brows, the lip, the rosiness of the cheeks is gorgeous. If you made it this far, God bless you. Um, I enjoyed doing this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.